Who's your number two? The Rams. The Rams. I know I, we don't need to talk about who that means my number one is, but the Rams. <clears throat> no, no, we will. We will uh, the touch that. In a and what I want to say is I think there's a lot. Of, I don't think there's much difference between the Rams, the Niners and the Seahawks. They're all very yeah. similar. Uh, they're right. all um, good teams. The Rams, the reason I think I like them, the, well, what do they have going for them? They have the best defensive player. They have the two best defensive players in the league. Yes. Jalen Ramsey and Aaron Donald. That's a great place to start. And then on offense, they are a lot like Seattle. They have the same scheme. They just got uh, a coach from, from the Rams to come over there and, and, and install the McVay offense. They have a hell of a quarterback. They have some good couple good, really good wide receivers and um, a run first play action attack. It's They're very similar. The difference is – the Rams have a hell of a defense and the Seahawks have an okay defense. Mm -hmm. um, and again, the reason I'm going to say that the Rams are going to be 11 and six and the Niners are going to be 10 and seven is the Rams got Matthew Stafford this offseason, and the Niners right. got someone that they're sort of more envisioning for the future. Right. So I got to give, I got to give the Rams the edge on the, on the, on the Niners by a little bit. That's fair. And this is the first one that, that we're in agreement. I put the Rams at number two as well. Mm. I think that Stafford was a hell of an upgrade. I do think that they've had considerable turnover within their coordinators. And so you don't have that same fluidity that you might mm. hope for. That certainly speaks to what McVay has been doing there, that he's continually getting poached by other teams. But that poaching at some point tends to catch up with teams. I was higher on the Rams before the Cam Akers injury. From a fantasy standpoint, that certainly hurt people who were thinking of taking Cam Akers. But from a, an offensive execution standpoint, I think that the Rams would have greatly benefited from having that true bell cow running back. And mm -hmm. it would have opened up more of what it seems they look to do within their offensive scheme set. So I, I do believe that that hurts a little bit. But they're a supremely talented team. I agree that when you have Donald and Ramsey, that you have two of the most talented defensive players in the league. I think the depth on the defense took a step back. No and question. so I do not, I don't expect them to, to, yeah, I do not expect them to, to be uh, the top defense in the league this year. I think that they'll regress a little bit there. And then I think that on the offensive side of the ball, Stafford is primarily going to carry them there. Although I did like the the addition of Sony Michelle, I thought that, that added quality depth to the running back room. And I'm not going to take anything away from Henderson, who is also a very uh, acceptable back in the league. So they have some talent. I just thought they were truly a threat to be the first in the division and one of the best in the league prior to the uh, Acres injury. And I had to take them down a notch. <laughs>